Hi, in this video I'm going to teach you guys how to make a Phantom of the Opera charm. It's not his deformed face, it's his mask face. Um, you have to make sure that your loom is set up where it's not even. The arrow is pointing down towards you and the bottom looks like this. We're building the phantom from the head down. Um, first thing you do is you take a single white rubber band, place it right here, um, and uh, we will be doubling for most of the face, uh, but from here until I say so, um, we're going to be doubling. So take your rubber bands for the hair, place them right there, and then another piece of the hair and place it right there so that it makes that hair part right there. Um, so then we go down the side that he has his mask, which is this side. So we're going to put the mask on the same side, just like that. And then take some more white rubber bands and place them right there. Then takes, um, I don't have any peach or skin color, so I will be using this sparkly yellow, um, or that jelly, um, yellow would work very well like I did in this one. But today, I will be using this sparkly yellow. So take those rubber bands, two of them, by the way. Place them right there. Then take two more. Place them right there. Um, then, you take this white rubber band, these white rubber bands, place them right there. And then take our last part of the face, well, not last, but here, part of it, part of the mask, and place it right there. Um, now we're going to have to place the cat bands on the face. And uh, we will be using one, uh, whatever color his face is, and one white. So these two. Take that white rubber band and place it right there. It should look like a triangle on the one side of his face. And then take that color of his skin, push that cap band down, and place that right there. And that's our cap band for the face. Um, we are going to start making the eyes It'll be the same as I did in this sloth video, where the eyes will be looking like this. See? They're similar. Um, it works really well. Um, the eye part that I use. Um, and you should watch the sloth video because it is so cute. And I think you guys would really like it. Uh, but... We're doing the phantom right now. So first, take whatever color your phantom's eyes are. Today I'm going to be using this jelly blue. It is a really pretty color. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Um, and it works really well. So, first thing you do is you take a rubber band and you wrap it four times. A single rubber band, by the way. Wrap it four times. And push it down a little bit so that there's room for this other eye. Um, take that, wrap it four times. It should look like that, and then push it down so that they're squished together. Then, take the phantom's face color and slide these two onto that rubber band.
and then push it over. It should look like that so far. There we go. It should look like that. Then take it and place it so that it looks like this. Oh, oops, I pushed it a little bit too high. It actually goes right here. Sorry about that. It goes right there near that bottom part. And then take this part, the middle of the two eyes, take that rubber band, split it in half a little bit so that there's um, two pieces of that rubber band. Hang on, let me get it. Okay, there we go. So it's like this. And then pull it over on the nearest peg. It should look like this so far. Okay. Now that we're done with the face, we can do the neck and his tuxedo. Um, take three of these skin-colored rubber bands and place them right here, and that's his neck. Um... Now we're going to start on his tuxedo. Um, it's the same color as his hair. So, like I said before, I'm using fuchsia. And we're going to be doing the shoulders first. We place these two rubber bands right there. Then we take two more rubber bands and place them right here. Just like that. And that starts his tuxedo, his shoulders. These nice little shoulders. Um, then take two more. Place it right here. Take two more. And place it right here. Then take two of those white colored bands. So, two of these white colored bands, and place it right here so that it makes that undershirt right there. Um, we're not quite done with the body yet, but we're just going to move on to the arms real quick so we can get that out of the way. So, the first thing you do is you take these peach colored rubber bands, well, one of them anyway, and wrap it four times. And then push that down a little bit so that it should look like that. Then you take two of these fuchsia rubber bands or whatever color his tuxedo is. And whoops, one of the rubber bands fell out. <laughs> um, then pull or slide these over and onto that rubber band just like we did for the eyes. And then pull that over, just like that. Then, take two more, put it like that, and slide that over and onto that rubber band. Then pull it and place that right there, just like that. We're almost done with the arm. Um, take two more rubber bands. And pull this over and onto there, just like that. Then pull that over, just like that. And uh, that's the end of the arm. Once you have the arm done, you take it and you place it right there, just like that. Now, we're going to make the other arm right now. So, uh, go ahead and do the same thing. Uh, I'm not going to show it in this video because it's, it's kind of hard to hold it and do it at the same time. So, um, you go ahead and do that. And uh, I'll show you what to do when we're done.
All right, so wrap that. Remember, four times you wrap it four times. Oh, if you're wondering how many of these to double over, uh, you do this three times. Okay, now that I have mine done, you take this and you place it right there. If you don't have the arm done, I would pause this video and wait until you're done. But I already finished mine, so we're good. Um, we have these arms done, so now we can finish the body part. So we go down four times, but since this is one, we only have to go down three more times. So take these two rubber bands, place them right there, and take two more, place it right there, take two more, place it right there, take two more, place it right there, then Take two more, place it right there, take two more, place it right there, and that finish is going down. Uh, now we just have to do the middle part. So uh, we're going to double all of these for this body part. So just keep doubling and placing it until you get to right here. The one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The ninth peg, I think, on this last one. No, wait, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, the ninth peg, right here. So uh, you go ahead and do that. All right, there we go. So now that I've done all this down, um, I take two more rubber bands, place them right here, take two more, place it right here, take two more, place it right here. Um, so yeah, we have this part done. Go ahead, take two more, and go ahead, go down until you reach. So you did the body right here. Uh, go down one, two, three, three pegs. Well, actually, here, I'll just show you. Okay, so you place that there. Actually, for this part, it might be easier for the legs to show up if you use a little bit of a lighter color. I happen to have a lighter color of fuchsia. So uh, I'm going to use that. But I would use a lighter color on the legs so that they'll show up more. So uh, go ahead and do that. Double the legs. Oops, that one was pink. I don't want pink. I want this reddish color. All right, there we go. It looks like I ran out of the red. I'll be right back and I'll get some more. You guys keep placing them. Um, I'll be right back.
Alright, I'm back. Now, I'm going to finish putting these on. Just a minute. Like I said before, I haven't quite planned this out. Very good. I thought I had enough. But, okay. There we go. Now, take that color of the tuxedo, double it over, place it right there. Then take it, double it over, and place it like that. And uh, then we start looping. Careful that your rubber band doesn't break, so I would go a little slow on this part. But I'm going to go fast since I don't have that much time. Yeah, this is just a mess for me, so... I'm not going to finish looping, um, but you guys keep looping. Um, make sure that you do this right because it turns out to be such a cool charm. Um, make sure you don't loop the cat bands on this face and uh, yeah, have fun looping. Make sure that when you get to the tuxedo, you do the top to bottom or you do the top up. Then come back, see what's on top, place it, then go up, then whatever's left, do that, then go up, then come over here, loop these, um, then loop the neck, loop whatever's on top first, which I think is the middle, then go ahead and loop whatever else is on top, I believe it's the face part, then loop and loop and loop, untie this, loop, loop, and loop, then go down, get that white band, Put it up. Here, I'll show you on this rubber band. So, take this. Here, I'll put it um, right here. And then I'll put this one, like, right here. So, take that white rubber band. Pull that over. Then go down there. Grab that one that's sort of down there. Grab it, pull that off, and then pull so that it makes that slip knot right there. Um, like I said before, have fun looping. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Comment below if you like the video. And uh, yeah, again, thanks for watching and goodbye.